Welcome back. If you are looking for a way to relax and unwind, if so, you're in luck because Sound Healers Com Collective is hosting a community sound bath meditation experience, which will benefit Yoga for Change tomorrow evening. Diana Vasquez, owner of Sound Bath Jacks and the Sound Healers Collective, is here now with details with a preview. Diana, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. You bring in like amazing energy into the space. Aww. Thank you so I, much. I wish my listeners could could smell because <laughs> like you smell so good. I just want <laughs> you to you. stick around because like the, the studio never smells as good. Aww, thank you. Thank yes. you. Yes. So tell me what a sound bath is. Um, well, a sound bath is basically a full body listening experience. The crystal singing bowls, Tibetan bowls, all these sacred, beautiful instruments are washing over your body and affecting you in a cellular level to help relaxation. And um, so you play these instruments. Correct. You're laying down, mm -hmm. usually a yoga mat or wherever's comfortable, really. And then we play the crystal singing bowls, Tibetan, Tibetan bowls, all the things in order to help your body fully relax. So when we have trouble meditating, the crystal bowls are amazing to come in to aid with that meditation to help you go deeper. Okay. Well, uh I got to hear this because I've never heard a sound bath before. Oh, okay. This is going to be a treat. So um, we have a couple of crystal bowls here today. I've got a metal bowl. A little chime. Oh, wow. That's nice. This is Al Letson. I am so relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. That was amazing. So just for our uh, listeners who can't see what the setup is in the studio, like you've got uh, two large glass, they're, they're bowls, but they're kind of cylinder-like. Correct. They are actually quartz crystal. 99.9% .9 quartz crystal are oh, wow. these bowls. There are two particular notes here. Each <clears throat> note um, is associated with the chakra. So this is the root chakra and the heart chakra that I played. And then we had a metal Himalayan singing bowl and a little chime. Mm -hmm. And so I'm from Duval. You got to make it simple. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, Duval's getting I, up with it. Right I know, now. I know. Like, look, look. Like, like Malcolm said earlier, we're a little rough around the edges, but Absolutely. but but in the long term, we get it. So, explain to me. Um, well, a like where this comes from. Like, where, where where did the sound bath start? Sound bath started thousands and thousands of years ago. We were talking. They started with metal bowls, Himalayan bowls, um, and then nobody actually knows the origin of the crystal bowls and where that started. Um, but it um, create it was for everything from the metal bowls were made to bring food into village to healing to putting it directly on the body so it actually relaxes the body on the cellular level so it's been used for thousands of years jacksonville i've been here about four years doing just um singing bowls and um sound baths and jacksonville has really received it and it's really beautiful to see hundreds of people gathering um for the one general purpose of relaxing ourselves mm -hmm. physically mentally um, and emotionally, we just, we have a lot of baggage and, you know, I'm here to help uh, release that a little bit. So I think people who are not familiar with this, um, they may be hesitant to go because sure. they don't really understand like what's going to happen. And yes. So can you kind of walk me yeah. through like how that works? So really, um, I tell everybody, every sound bath is different. Every experience is different. It's truly what you bring to this container that will dictate how your experience is. So if you come in with an open heart and an open mind, you're going to have a beautiful experience. If you are resisting what you're feeling and or going through, it's not going to be as comfortable. But we don't grow from being comfortable. Mm -hmm. So ultimately what... Can you, you say that again for the people in the back, please? <laughs> <laughs> we definitely do not grow if we are comfortable. Mm -hmm. Uncomfort makes us learn from our experiences so that we can move through life and create better experiences for ourselves. So... Ultimately, you're laying down and um, usually I guide you into a short guided meditation just to kind of settle the mind and bring you into a center. And then I play the crystal bowls for about 40 to 50 minutes. Some other instructors will add movement into it to kind of help. Um, so there's a ton of different modalities. But ultimately, 
it's re- letting go of that resistance to think about the grocery list, to think about the email you forgot to send or what you've got to do after and just allow yourself to be present in this very moment. Mm-hmm. And as a uh, as, as someone attending it, mm-hmm. um, I don't know. I, I, I think that like I, I can't remember what it was that I went to. It wasn't a sound bath, but it was something along these lines of, sure. of relaxation. And I was there and uh, I immediately began crying. And I had no idea where this emotion yeah. came from. It was just yeah. there. And I was super embarrassed about it. Yeah. And the facilitator was like, dude, everybody does that. Like, everybody. like, like that's what happens, right? Yes. It's, it's the ability to be in a safe space. So that you can have that emotion. And the unfortunate part is we live in a society where we're not allowed to have these emotions right. because we're just going through life and going through all the things we've got going on. And so we suppress that. So when we're allowed a space to just be and and whatever that is, whatever that may be for you, if that means an all out bawling session, then that's what it is. Um, and it's OK. It's welcomed, in fact. That means yeah. that it was received in a way that your soul needed. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me uh, exactly what is Yoga for Change? Yoga for Change. This is a beautiful local organization that was founded here in in Jacksonville. They um, offer yoga to um, incarcerated youth, mental health, veterans. Um, they are just a beautiful organization. It is so good in the community. And actually one of the first companies that gave me an opportunity here in Jacksonville to perform a sound bath outside with them. And they're near and dear to my heart and I will always support them. And this is one of the ways we do it. I created the Sound Healers Collective uh, last year. It's about seven of us local sound healers and we do this big event um, where we bring in the community. And we have all agreed to do this once a year in benefit of Yoga for Change. And last year we raised over $7,000 for an amazing organization. Yeah. So now at, at this event, mm-hmm. um, will you be playing with the other practitioners? Yes, we have. Um, <laughs> we do take a lot of time to create an experience that takes you through a journey. Mm-hmm. So each of us, we have a, a set list. We go for an hour at seven different instruments. I'm sorry, seven different practitioners and over 90 instruments that we're playing um, to create this beautiful container for you. Wow. And so give me the details again about the uh, about So the tomorrow's event. event is at the beautiful Friday Musicale Theater, and um, it's at 6.30 p.m. We only have a handful of tickets left, which was, is amazing. Um, the Sound Healers Collect, like I said, will have another event. Um, we do this a couple of times a year. But um, tomorrow's Friday Musicale, 100% of the proceeds are going to benefit Yoga for Change. We have some amazing silent auction um, items as well. Do you need to bring like a yoga mat when you come or? It depends. We have a couple of premium seats available. So that way you just show up and we've got everything covered. But um, yeah, the ticket sales start from $44. They go all the way to 77 depending on what kind of experience you want to have and what you want to bring. Diana Vasquez, owner of Sound Bath Jacks and the Sound Healers Collective. Thanks so much. And as we go out, you're going to play us out, huh? All right. Yes, I will. All right. I've been looking forward to this.